Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We're back for more Seattle Mariners franchise here on MLB The Show 19. And coming off of last week's losses versus the Athletics, we have a tough schedule going into April to start it out. You see we have a four-game series at home to start it out versus the Boston Red Sox. Then we go uh, play the Angels at home as well. But then we have a little bit of a easier time with the White Sox and KC Royals. But then the rest of the month is pretty tough as we have a bunch of road games and we're playing a bunch of tough teams. Then looking at, you know, just our roster in general, remember Kyle Seeger is out the first month. So we are going to keep him in single A and then bring him back up in May. So we do get to see the debut of Yusei Kikuchi and he's going up against Chris Sale. And that's a hard task going up against this Red Sox lineup. Take a look at their lineup. Eduardo Nunez is hitting in the DH spot, but everybody else, I mean, they're just loaded as this is going to be a tough first task for Kikuchi here as he is 27 and a rookie. So this is going to be tough for him. So here we go, starting out this game on the mound with a pitch over the middle to Nunez and giving up a hit up the middle, not a way you want to welcome yourself to the MLB, but Nunez does it for him. So here comes Dustin Pedroia coming off of last season with an injury with his first action back. And remember, this is their opening day here on the road as they have not played a game and we've played two, but we're facing this team early on. So here's J.D. Martinez taking a look at that pitch and striking out looking as bring, and that brings up Mookie Betts who hits one to right field on a one two count and that drops into right field with the base hit so now with a three and two count two outs there is Pierce hitting a little tapper in front of home plate and that's going to be thrown out by Narvaez at first as we come to the plate here in the home half of the first so here is D. Gordon. He started out the year pretty nicely here, starting three to three for nine, and he gets a hit to start out the game off of Chris Sale, and we got our first base runner of the game. Here comes Domingo Santana up to the plate. He hits a hard one up the middle, but it's fielded by Chris Sale, and that's a double play early two outs to start out this game. So Mitch Hanniger, can he keep this inning going? And he strikes out on the high heat as Chris Sale has a great release point. It's pretty hard to hit the ball off of him in this game as we move on to the second inning. Here's Encarnacion, that 98-mile-an-hour fastball he cannot keep up to, and that brings up Ryan Healy, and he pops up to center field. So we haven't done anything to start this game, and uh, neither has Boston really as Kikuchi is doing a pretty good job on the mound. Here he is striking out. Nunez looking here in the top of the third and now with two outs, here comes J.D. Martinez up to bat, hitting a little tapper back to the pitcher, and that's thrown out by Kikuchi at first base. And this is an even game to start out through the first two and a half innings. So Tim Beckham, here he comes up to the plate. He hits in the eight hole. He gets a pitch to hit, but he just does not have the power to muscle that one out of the yard. It stays in, and it's a fly out to J.D. Martinez in left. Up comes Malik Smith. He's had a slow start to the season. He pops one out to left, and that's going to end the third inning here as nothing doing on either side. So now here in the top of the fourth, here's Mookie Betts at the plate. He gets a pitch to hit that's low and outside, and he drives it over the left field wall, and that's going to be a home run for the reigning MVP and probably the best player in baseball. I'd say it's between him and Mike Trout, but I'd give it to Mookie Betts right now, and he makes it a one nothing game. So now we do get a little bit of a settle down here by Kikuchi. Here's a ground out too short to Tim Beckham, and that's an early put out that time. And here's a liner to Edwin Encarnacion to end the fourth inning, and we're moving into the early parts, the middle parts of this game here with the one nothing deficit. So here comes Jay Bruce to the plate. Can he get going? Nope, he looks at the changeup over the middle. How about Ryan Healy? He strikes out looking as well. The check swing, he did not go around, but it's still in the zone to end the fifth inning. So now on to the sixth. Here's Nervaez at the plate. He hits a hard grounder up the middle, but it's stopped by Bogarts and thrown out at first as our offense has just not been able to get going. 
Tim Beckham back at the plate again. Hits a pop-up to center field, and that is actually caught by Ben Intendi. So now two outs in the inning. Here is Malik Smith at the plate. Two outs, and he strikes out on the low slider, and we have not been able to get going as we're facing maybe one of the best pitchers in baseball. I'd say top three probably as we move on to the seventh inning. Here comes Bogarts at the plate. He's going to get walked to start out the seventh inning as Kikuchi has not been in much trouble, but he's pitched a lot up to this point, so we bring in Sam Tui Valala out of the bullpen, a righty, and we just give them a different look. So here comes Devers to the plate. He's going to hit a hard ground ball to the right side. It's knocked down by Encarnacion and thrown out at first. Kikuchi, actually, Louis Tui Lavala. I can't even say his name here. He gets the out at first. So here's a ground out to third base. Ryan Healy throwing to first, but that's gonna be off the mark. So now they got guys on first and second here off the Healy air, and here comes Leon to the plate, and he hits one hard to the right side, and that one's through the infield, as here we go. Bases loaded, one out here to in the top of the seventh, and their top of the lineup comes right back up to the plate. So here is Nunez on a one-two count. Hits a blooper to left field, and that's going to be caught by Tim Beckham. So we keep this one deficit, one run deficit intact as here comes Dustin Pedroia to the plate. Can he get going? He takes one low and outside and hits a ground ball to Tim Beckham. So we get out of the jam that time, and that's nice relief pitching out of the pen. So we do only have one hit up to this point. Can our offense get going? Chris Sale still in the game. Here's D. Gordon finally getting a hit to the left side. He's got both of the hits in this game for the Mariners as he's going to be two for three. So here comes Domingo Santana to the plate. He gets a nice pitch to hit, but he just pops it up to the first baseman. And now we got one out in the inning with Mitch Hanniger coming to the plate. Can he get going? He strikes out swinging on the inside fastball. And now two outs with Edwin Encarnacion to the plate. Three, two count, two outs. The runner is in motion, but that's gonna be picked up and thrown out at first base by Alexander Bogarts as we move this game into the bottom of the ninth and they bring in their closer, Matt Barnes, who actually didn't have any saves last year. He wasn't really their closer, but they have him in a closing position this year as here comes Malik Smith to the plate. Here facing a 3-2 count, no outs. He takes one deep but does not have the muscle to take this one out. That one could have tied this game up. That was a meatball right down the middle. So now on a 1-2 count, here is D. Gordon at the plate, and he strikes out swinging at the high heat. So 3-2 count, two outs. Domingo Santana is our last hope here, and he draws the walk. So up comes Mitch Hanniger with a chance to possibly take this one and we can do it. Mitch Hanniger, two and one count, two outs. He gets a pitch to hit and takes it to right field, but that one is going to be an easy fly ball to Mookie Betts in right field as the Red Sox come in our house the first game of their season, and they get the win. As Chris Sale had 12 strikeouts, only giving up two hits and only one walk. What a game he pitched as our offense just could not get going. Yusei Kikuchi gets credited with the loss. Even though his you know, game wasn't that bad, he pitched pretty well in that one, but we ended up losing. So we end up simming the next two games. We actually go on and win the next one as we actually beat David Price. And that's a good sign because we needed a win early on here. But we do end up falling the fourth game of the season as uh, that's actually the fifth game of the season. So we fall to one and four to start it out and you know our offense has just been inconsistent so far in these first few games so we just start you know looking around and just looking at our you know farm system here just looking at the top guys here shed long actually a really good second baseman he is uh you know a great hitter and actually the number 12 ranked prospect in our organization in real life according to mlb.com so that's a guy to keep your eye on we do need some right-handed bats in the lineup because I figure that we have too many lefties and Kyle Lewis is definitely a guy to look out for coming into this season in the minors. He's 70 overall and the seventh ranked prospect in the pipeline. Next, looking at Braden Bishop. He is the lower overall, 64 overall, but he is the 11th ranked prospect and his ETA is 2019 and he is a righty, so I do want to keep my eyes on him 
because he does have speed so we'd be adding more speed and you know our dh position is where we're struggling right now jay bruce is not hitting well there and dylan moore we're actually going to put in the lineup for this game going into the last game of this four game series versus the red sox so marco gonzalez gets the ball again in back-to-back -back episodes as you see his first start was actually pretty good i mean to be honest he had a 0.8 whip one walk five strikeouts but i think that was pretty good through five innings so here we go we start out this game and marco gonzalez is giving up a hit to the right center gap and malik smith does not go after that he could have cut that one off and nunez starts out this game with a lead off double so pedroia up to the plate he is hitless so far this season and he draws the walk so now guys on first and second here with jd martinez coming to the plate and he's going to hit a little dribbler to the shortstop, and that's going to not be hard enough to turn two, and we get the out at first. So guys on second and third, Mookie bets to the plate, and he hits one to right center, and that's going to be in the gap, and two runs are going to come around to score, and now the Red Sox take the 2 nothing lead to start out the top of the first. So now with one out, here comes Pierce up to the plate. Can he drive in yet another run? But we do get the strikeout on the outside sinker. And Gonzalez settles down a little bit on that one. So now on a 3-2 count, two outs. Here's a ground out to D. Gordon. But two runs come across the plate as we move on to the bottom of the first. So we are facing Eduardo Rodriguez, who had a really good year last year. He had a 126 whip, which isn't the greatest, but he went 13 and five. And I think that, you know, this is gonna be a tough matchup for us. So here is D Gordon to lead off this game. He's riding a four game hit streak. Is our highest hitting uh, guy in our lineup, 381 on the season. He strikes out looking to start out the game, but here comes Mitch Hanniger, who's started out the season pretty slow, but he gets to hit down the right field line. And he starts it out with a double, and that's a guy on second to start out the bottom of the first. We're going to need to hit the ball well to match this Red Sox lineup. Here is an inside pitch. And it's actually supposed to be a check swing on that one, but Domingo Santana goes around and pops that one up. That's a bad swing. So Edwin Encarnacion at the plate, two outs, and he gets a hit down the left field line, and that one is going to bring in Hanniger from second, and now we're on the board cutting this lead down to just one here in the bottom of the first off of the RBI single by Encarnacion. Up comes Tim Beckham hitting in the five hole since we are giving Jay Bruce the day off. We wanna try something new at the DH position and we fly out to right center, but we do get one across the plate. On to the top of the third inning. Here is a hit that time by Mookie Betts to the right side and that's gonna be a two for two start for Mookie Betts to start it out. So here is Pete Pierce here in the five hole. Mookie Betts is running on this play and Narvaez throws from his knees and he's gonna get Betts trying to swipe a bag and take another look at this throw from his knees. And Narvaez has a pretty good arm and that's a wonderful throw and actually probably saved us maybe a run as Pierce comes up in a three two count with two outs and no he just hits the dribbler back to the pitcher so it probably wouldn't have mattered there maybe a double play you don't know but we do get out of that inning so on to the bottom of the fourth here's domingo santana started out with a three two count and he's just had a slow start to the season he pops out to right field but that brings up edwin encarnacion to the plate who has a single already in this game in an rbi so on a one two count he gets a pitch in the right over the middle and he's gonna take this one deep and that one is going to be gone off of the bat of our clean up hitter and Benintendi almost comes up with that one. Take a look at how close this one is as that barely gets over the wall in center and that's exactly the type of power we need because that is actually our first home run of the season by anybody and we tie this game up at two, but here's Tim Beckham. He can't keep the inning going as he strikes out there, and Ryan Healy comes up and strikes out, and that is gonna be only one run across in the fourth. So on to the fifth inning. Here's Eduardo Rodriguez still on the mound. Here is Moore getting his second at bat of the game. He strikes out for two strikeouts in this game. Rodriguez has five in the fifth. Here is Malik Smith in the box and he's gonna hit a drooper, a blooper to the left side of the field. 
and Malik Smith gets on with 94 speed. I love having Malik Smith and D. Gordon hitting one and nine in the lineup, but we can't get anything out of this as we move on to the top of the six. So here is Gonzalez still on the mound, getting the ground out here on the top of the six, and he's been pitching pretty well. After that two-run first inning, He's been getting out of each inning. Here is Bogarts to the plate. A hard liner to D. Gordon. It's knocked down but thrown out at first. So now we got two outs as he is rolling, and he gets another ground out. So Gonzalez is pitching pretty good. Like I said, that one big inning in the first, that was pretty much it, and he's been getting through this game as they only have six hits through six innings, and we move on to the bottom of the sixth. So here comes Enwin Encarnacion to the plate. After hitting a home run in his first at bat, he draws the walk. So there is two outs in this inning, 3-2 count. Here is Tim Beckham at the plate. He hits one through the left side of the infield. And now we got guys on first and second here with two outs in the sixth inning. And here comes Ryan Healy. Can he finally get going as he's been a kind of a guy that we've been trying to get going in the middle of our lineup. And he grounds out to the right side of the field to Dustin Pedroia. And the game is still tied at two apiece. So here comes Benintendi to the plate. He hits a little blooper over the third baseman's head, and somehow Domingo Santana can't field it cleanly. He runs right past it. And now they have a guy on second base, and we have to just relieve our guy Gonzalez on the mound. We bring in Zach Roscup, and he's going to look to get us out of this inning. So here in the seventh inning, facing Leon, he gets a hit to the right side of the field, advancing the runner to third exactly how they teach you to do it. So up comes Nunez. The top of the lineup is back around and he gets a little blooper to center field and that's gonna drop in and that's gonna bring in a run, taking this lead to one here in the top of the seventh. So now in a three to two game, Dustin Pedroia comes up with one out in the inning. He's gonna ground out to Healy and we're gonna turn the double play and we're gonna get out of the seventh inning with one run of damage, but man, that blooper really kills me that it brought in that run. So here is Moore at the plate. Can he get going? Remember, we're giving him a shot. And he strikes out at a pitch in the dirt. But it's going to be overthrown at first base. So Moore, with 74 speed, is going to try to stretch it to second. And he gets there. So we luck out on the strikeout. He had three strikeouts in this game. And he makes it to second, though. So here is Malik Smith at the plate. He's going to hit one to the left side, but that's right to the third baseman. And that's going to be two outs here with D. Gordon to the plate. Remember, he's riding a four-game hit streak, so the hit streak is on the line on a 3-2 count. He gets a hanger over the middle, and he takes it to left field, and that's going to be past J.D. Martinez into the wall, and we're going to tie this game up at three apiece here in the bottom of the seventh. So this inning is still alive as Mitch Hanniger comes to the plate here on a three and one count. He takes one up in the zone and he's on first base. So guys on first and second here, Domingo Santana, can he finally get going? He hits a ground ball to the shortstop and is right to Bogarts and he throws the second for the easy out. So now we move this game into the top of the eighth inning. Here is Ross Cup still on the mound and hit up the middle from J.D. Martinez. is knocked down by Gordon at second, but it's going to be beat out at first as here comes Mookie Betts, who's been killing us so far in this series. He's two for three in the game, and he draws the walk. So we end up bringing in Corey Guerin once again for his second appearance of the season and hoping he will get us out of this inning. Facing Pierce for his first batter faced and he's going to get a hit up the middle and Malik Smith comes up throwing and the runner does hold at third because they have no outs in the inning so Bogarts at the plate he's going to hit a deep fly ball to left field Domingo Santana is going to keep camp under it and he barely hangs on for that one and the runner does not tag as here comes Devers up to the plate on a 1-1 count, he gets a hit to the left side, and that's going to drive in a run as Santana comes up throwing, but they still do get one run across the plate and take the 4-3 lead. Benintendi up. He's going to hit one deep to the right center gap, and that one is going to be deep enough to score the runner from third. And just like that, Boston had bases loaded, no outs, and they get two across the plate with Leon coming to the plate, and he's going to hit one two shortstop. And that's going to be a ground out 
as we move this game into the bottom of the ninth inning. Matt Barnes comes in once again, maybe getting his second save of the season. And here he's facing Narvaez to start it out, 2-2 count. Narvaez gets a hit, pitched a hit, and he's going to hit it to the left side, and that's going to be over Bogart's head. And here we go, a guy on first base, Jay Bruce. We actually bring him into DH against the right-handed pitcher. Dylan Moore was in this spot. So here he comes, three and one count. Jay Bruce gets a hard pitch to hit, but he pulls it to Pedroia at second, but they can't turn double the double play, and Bruce beats it out. So here comes Malik Smith at the play. Can he get it going? No, there's a little grounder. This could end it, but Malik Smith beats it out as Bogarts tries to rush the throw to get the 94 speed center fielder. And that brings up D. Gordon. Two outs, three, two count. Bottom of the ninth, and Gordon gets a pitch to hit, and he hits it down the left field line as the runner was on the move. And Malik Smith scores all the way from first base and makes it a five to four game here in the bottom of the ninth with two outs. D. Gordon has two RBIs in this one. So they actually do pull Barnes and pull in Tyler Thornburg, who is looking to close this game out. So on a three and two count, two outs. Mitch Hanniger at the plate. Can he get it going? And no, he can't. He swings at a low change up and strikes out. And the Red Sox come into our building, take three of four and come away with the series here as we start out this series, this season one in five. And this is not the start we are looking for. We're looking for, you know, some more bats on the right side of the plate. But it is early in the season, only six games in, so I don't want to panic at all. But let me know what you guys think of this squad so far. Uh, we had nine hits in this game. Our bullpen has been giving up a lot of hits, and I do want to address that a little bit. And our, actually our starting rotation has as well. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Make sure to stay tuned for more Seattle Mariners franchise here on the channel stay tuned let's get it let's go